Hey guys, John here. Today we're going to be making a sound effect type of thing in Harmer, and this is based on the Shepherd's Tone, which if you're not familiar with that, it's basically the sound where it seems like it's ascending or descending for a long time and it never really gets to where it seems like it's going. I'm pretty sure you've heard it at some point in your life, but if you haven't and you don't know what I'm talking about, this is what it sounds like. So that can go on for a long time and it never really gets to where it seems like it's going. So if you like the patch, give the video a thumbs up. It helps me tremendously and also subscribe if you haven't already. So let's dive into this thing and see what's happening here. So first off, this is going to be a four unison patch here. We're only going to be using part A, so forget about B for now or forever really in this patch. Now the phase randomness is all the way to the right at 100% free running. So if you don't know any of these terms, I do have a full length Harmer tutorial series if you wanna make it through the whole thing. It's quite lengthy, but it's very helpful if you wanna learn Harmer. So with that being said here, this crude low pass, we're not necessarily gonna be touching here. This is more so going to be based upon the phaser effect here, which is why I left this window with a strange little line here open, because this is really the meat and potatoes of how to make this type of sound. The pitch is going to be here, it's going to be four, so we're dividing it quite a bit here because we have a, quite a low end pitch here because we want to have it always rising, so we want to have a good spot, a good solid low end foundation to work from, to go upwards the whole time. So with that being said, if we go into this list here, there's not really anything here that we're really working with except this phaser shape, which is this window right here. So if you drop this phaser down while this is going on, this is going to remove this type of effect. So take a listen to this. So already a cool sound for sure. You could even just remove the phaser and use that as well for a cool sound effect if you'd like to. But for this type of effect, you're going to need to use this phaser on the frequency setting. It's going to be on octaves here as well. And this mix is going to be at about 50% here. So listen to how this introduces this phaser here. You might be wondering what happens when we go all the way. Let's find out. It just becomes chaos at that point. It makes a really cool looking pattern here, but yeah, so 50% is kind of the sweet spot for this sound and it's definitely automatable. So if you want to move this knob around while things are going, things are going along in your session, it's a very cool effect as well. This width here is going to be at 68%, the offset right in the middle and the speed at 64 right here. And that's kind of the meat and potatoes of this effect. So this phaser section here, I also have a phaser section in the Harmer tutorial series, but that being said, this phaser is actually very cool because there's a lot of different effects and a lot of different type of special stuff like this frequency is under the special one, which I kind of did want to showcase that. Or you can do a custom shape and there's a lot of cool stuff with this phaser that you can do that you wouldn't really be able to normally do with just a regular phaser kind of effect. So that's kind of how that's done right there. Let's hop into our effects and see what's going on here. Absolutely nothing. And you might be wondering, well, where's all that weird reverb coming from? How, how is that happening? That's happening externally as I have this Vault Hollow reverb here on a huge synth hall and actually sending quite a bit of, uh, of signal to this reverb to kind of really make it a big low end type of set or a big room. It's a big thing happening. It's kind of huge. So I kind of wanted to use the external reverb, one of my favorites for that. So that's why that's there as well. Now for the volume, like I said, there's not really much happening. The main thing is going to be this phaser at 50% on frequency with that strange shape here, this phaser shape doing that. Like I said, that's pretty much it. If you'd like to get the patch, it's available for free download in the video description below. And thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.